Hello everyone, I'm Ming Fang Fu. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Center for Power Control Systems. Today, I'm going to introduce a high efficiency, high power density distribution model for a railway application. This project is sponsored by the China Railway Stock Corporation, CRRC. We want to develop a high efficiency, high power density distribution model. This isolated model should be able to deal with a wide input voltage from 64 volt to 160, and its output is 24 volt. It is to provide isolated DC power in the transportation industry for such electronics as LED displays, audio amplifiers, safety monitors, lightning, and communication systems. In terms of efficiency and power density, the most competitive products are provided by Synco and Wyco because of the performance limitation of the second devices. The peak efficiency is about 91 and the power density is below 100 watt per cube inch. Therefore, we propose a gain-based DC converter. The touch efficiency is 95 with a power density more than 118. A two-stage configuration is used. The first stage is a buck converter used for voltage regulation. It is going to convert the wide input to a constant 48 bus voltage in the back converter. Two phase are interleaved and the critical current mode is used to achieve ZVS. The frequency is above 400 kHz. The secondary stage is unregulated 2 MHz 48 volt to 24 volt LLC DC transformer. It can always work at its most efficient point since very high power density is desired. We want to build a standalone quarter brick module. It's necessary to integrate magnetic components on the PCB. Therefore, in this two-stage configuration, both the inductors of a bar converter and the transformer of a LLC DCS are implemented on a six-layer PCB board. The inductors are inversely coupled to reduce the conduction loss and the inductor winding loss. The transformer uses perfect interleaving structure to achieve good EMI performance and small winding loss. In this module, a digital controller is used to regulate output voltage. The final output voltage is sent to control the switch of the buck converter. Inside this low-cost MCU, it needs to achieve critical mode operation, phase interleaving, JVS extension, and PI compensator. Finally, a standalone module is built with all required circuits, such as the main stage, the digital controller, and the auxiliary power supply. This slide compares our prototype system with the benchmark system, the Syncos module. With the same footprint, the output power of our module is twice higher than the benchmark converter, which means our power density of our module is 195 watt per cube inch. More importantly, the achieved peak efficiency is around 96, which is much better than the Syncos module. This is the final prototype system, and uh, this is the buck converter. We can see we use the gain system devices for the buck converter, and this is the couple inductor. For LLC converter, we use the APC gain devices for primary side and secondary side. In this standalone system, we also include all the circuits besides the main power stage, such as the MCU digital controller, the auxiliary power supply, and the PM bus communication chips. This is the waveform for both stages. The first one is the output voltage with small current ripple, and the second one is the drain source voltage of the LLC primary devices. We can see the ZVS operation. And the last two is the drain source voltage of the buck converter and the inductor current. We can see the sub M operation for this inductive current, and this negative current is used to achieve ZVS operation. Thank you, that's all for today's video nugget. For more information, you can visit our website. Bye bye.